paint texture maps in 2D. In some cases, we might want to paint on a flat version of our model. So Mudbox allows us to take a flattened representation of the mesh uh, within the 3D view. Notice I'm in the 3D view right now, right? And I'm just going to go and click on my front view. I'm going to get it nice and square on here. And what I want to do is I want to go up to my UV and map, UVs and maps. I want to flatten to the UV space. And now I can use my um, my uh, alt and middle button in position and here i am actually looking at it in my 3d view why would we want to do this we could use some large brushes so i could come over here and use some large brushes to paint a large area without bleeding into the other areas um, i could paint uh, flat textures a little easier say for example i might want to have a logo uh, or something with writing, uh, it's a lot easier for me to, to write flat. Uh, I could use the clone tool. Uh, I might touch up some uh, overspray from the projection tool. So here I'm just going to come here with some uh, magenta, and I'm just going to I'm going to create a paint layer, of course, uh, and I'm just going to spray. And notice it won't leave that particular UV. And now. Yes, I do have my UV here, uh, and in 3D, I'm looking at it flat. Now I need to go back to my normal 3D. To do that, I'm going to go up to UV and Maps, and I'm going to go to Unflatten from UV Space, and it generates now back to my 3D view. You can see I still have my UV. I'm in my 3D, and now I'm back to 3D. So if you want to to be able to paint in 2D, we have to go up and go to flat to UV space. And when you're done and want to get back to 3D, you want to go to unflat from UV space. And this allows to paint our texture maps in the 3D model. Uh, so it's in the 3D model. We must uh, paint on the paint layer. That paint layer is doesn't matter if it's 2D or 3D, we'll use that same uh, paint layer. So this is painting texture maps in 2D.